Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare tool for here bringing you another Minecraft World War II bath to build tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the USS Arizona. The USS Arizona was a battleship built for the United States Navy in the mid-1910s, named in honor of the 48th state. She was the second and last ship in the Pennsylvania class. After being commissioned in 1916, Arizona remained stateside during World War I, but escorted President Woodrow Wilson to the subsequent Paris Peace Conference. The ship was deployed abroad again in 1919 to represent American interests during the Greco-Turkish War. Two years later, she was transferred to the Pacific Fleet, under which the ship would remain for the rest of her career. The 1920s and 1930s saw Arizona regularly deployed for training exercises, including the annual fleet problems, including excluding a comprehensive modernization between 1929 and 1931. The ship supported relief efforts in the wake of the 1933 earthquake near Long Beach, California, and was later filmed for a role in the 1934 James Cagney film, Here Comes the Navy, before budget cuts led to a significant periods in port from 1936 to 1938. In April 1940, the Pacific Fleet's home port was moved from California to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, as a deterrent to Japanese imperialism. On December 7, 1941, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, and Arizona was hit by several airdropped armor-piercing bombs. One detonated an explosive-filled magazine, sinking the battleship and killing 1,177 of its officers and crewmen. Unlike many of the other ships attacked that day, Arizona was so irreparably damaged that it was not repaired for services in World War II. The shipwreck still lies at the bottom of Pearl Harbor beneath the USS Arizona Memorial. Dedicated to those who died during the attack, and the memorial is built across the ship's remains. So yeah, the USS Arizona here, uh, one of the most famous ships in history, uh, due to obviously its unfortunate circumstances that happened to it. Not really its service record itself, but the um, ending of the ship, which is what made it infamous for uh, what it represented. And the Arizona, obviously... By the time the war broke out, or World War II had broke out, it was definitely very outdated, um, along with her sister ship, the Pennsylvania, and really all the ships at Pearl Harbor, and the battleships were kind of out their way anyway, but it's still a very sad story, and a ship that obviously deserves to be uh, commemorated in any way possible, and remembered for all those that died on Pearl Harbor, um, and the loss of the huge amount of her crew. Um, so yeah, really uh, cool ship and just a really historically valuable ship. And I went ahead and actually recently did a rebuild for it for an upcoming project that I'll be sharing with you guys hopefully soon um, as I'm making this video. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and do a new tutorial for the Arizona as the other one I felt was uh, outdated and definitely could use some uh, remake. If you are interested also, I do have a kind of modern Arizona memorial set up. And as you can see here to my side, I actually have a sunk version of the Arizona that you could also put into uh, your, your worlds, your water, and you can actually have a, uh, you know, memorial set up as well for the Arizona. So just something to kind of look at and, um, you know, take advantage of your interest in that. But as I mentioned, this is the 1941 version. This is what the ship would have looked like uh, when she was um, sunk at Pearl Harbor. So uh, going ahead and diving into it, we have uh, the front of the ship here. Again, nothing really too fancy, just uh, a lot of your anchor systems and all that stuff here. We then have uh, turrets one and two on the front, and then we have the conning tower here. Uh, a lot of casemate and kind of upper deck uh, guns here in this uh, kind of mid section here. Uh, behind the conning tower we have the uh, funnel and then we have the lifeboats and um, you know just all the various boats and stuff like that located here. Along with the two uh, cranes we have the rear mast and then we have the um, back here which houses the uh, rear guns as well as the seaplane catapult and there's also a seaplane catapult here on the stern as well so um, overall it's pretty much the Arizona it's also done up in the dark gray uh, scheme I believe this was measure three um, it was the typical color used by the US Navy at that time um, but without further ado let's go ahead and move into the tutorial all right guys so moving into our first layer here we will be going ahead and starting with layer number one now to go ahead and before we get started into it I do want to go ahead and mention the positioning of uh, layer one uh, with the water so as you can see right here I have a line of blue concrete this year is to represent that top surface layer and then the red concrete for our first layer is going to be starting right below that so just keep that in mind going forward uh, that you make sure you position this correctly um, like this if you do want to have this in the water 
and everything like that. So with that, we're going to go and then go for back from this red concrete block. So we have one, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, and we're going to stop at thirty-two red concrete blocks back. Then a red nether brick top slab. We're going to go and then skip a space and place down a second red nether brick top slab. Then two red nether brick walls back and then just an acacia wood sign on both sides of this first wall. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a birch wood slab going forward from the, wall, the uh, sign there on both sides. And then we want to go ahead and place down a fence gate. That's going to be right here of acacia wood. We're going to open that toward the middle. Same thing on both sides here. And then we want to place down a lightning rod coming off that fence gate. And this is going to connect up to a red nether brick top slab like that. After that's all done, we're going to go then place down a red nether brick up down stair to both sides. And then a red concrete block to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down a red nether brick top slab coming off this red concrete block here at the sides. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a lightning rod going forward from those slabs as well as a birch wood slab like that coming off the lightning rod. We then want to place down another red concrete block to both sides, then a red nether brick up and down stair, like so. After that, uh, we're going to go and then go forward from our red concrete here. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 red concrete blocks forward. We're going to go and then place down three red nether brick walls, two red stained glass panes, and then we're going to go and place down a row of three, or sorry, row two of acacia wood trap doors on the side. We're going to do the same thing over here on this side as well. So just like this. And let's connect all the way back there. Then for our next row out to the side, we're going to go off this upside down stair. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks. Then two upside down stairs and then a red narrow brick top slab. Same thing will be done over here on this side as well. So just like this, connecting our stairs together and uh, it will be the same there on both sides. Now after that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves red stained glass panes. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put in also some acacia wood trap doors. We're going to go ahead and go to the second red concrete block from the back here. Place down a acacia wood trap door coming off of it. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine glass panes forward. And then another acacia wood trap door there. Same thing is going to be done over here on this side as well. And that right there is going to wrap up everything we have for layer number one of the build. Here is a top-down view of what that should look like. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing on a red stained glass pane here on top of this red concrete block on the front, a red nether brick wall, and then we're going to take our red concrete and we're going to place it on a row down the center. We have one, two, three, four, five, six red concrete blocks back from that nether brick wall. And then we're going to place down an air brick wall to both sides of the sixth block. And then we want to place down two red stained glass panes going forward. And then a acacia wood trap door here again closed on the side of this block here. After that, we're going to take our red concrete. We're going to go back from the walls. One, two, three, four red concrete blocks. And then same thing over here. One, two, three, four. To the side of this last block, we're going to place down a red nether brick wall. And then a red stained glass pane forward. And same thing over here on this side as well. Then we're going to take our red concrete, we're going to go ahead and continue to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 red concrete blocks and same thing will be done over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 red concrete blocks after that. Going back up to the front here, we're going to place down uh, a cage with trap doors on the second and third blocks like so. And then taking our red stainless panes, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 red stained glass panes back, and then an acacia wood trap door on the second to last block. Same thing is going to be done over here on this side. So just like this, and again we have our two trap doors, so just like we did on the other side there. Then we want to go ahead and place down a uh, another brick wall that's going to come off this red concrete block, and then two red stained glass panes going back. Same thing over here. And we're going to go ahead and then take our red concrete and fill in the space behind those glass panes and walls. And we're going to go ahead and extend this row by one more on top of those fence gates. We're going to go ahead and place down another brick up down stair to both sides. Followed by a top slab coming off those stairs. 
And then we're going to place down another upside down stair that's going to sit here on top of this wall. And then you run another big top slab and then a acacia wood trap door going back like so. This middle space right here, we're going to go and just fill in with uh, one, two, three red concrete just to fill that in there. And you can also have the option of filling the inside in here of the ship completely. Um, I like to personally, but uh, again, it's kind of up to you guys. You don't need to, but for me, I like to fill this in. And um, this right here is just going to be uh, the area that's really not going to be exposed at all for the ship. So you can just fill it in with red concrete. And again, just kind of more of an optional thing to do. But once you have this all done, uh, this is going to wrap up everything we have for layer two. And we'll be going ahead and moving on to our uh, next layer will be layer number three. So again, here is a top down view of what it should look like with layer two added on. With that though, we'll be going ahead and moving on to our next layer, which will be layer number three. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to start with, we're going to place down a polished blackstone wall on top of this wall here, and then a dark oak trap door coming off it, uh, opened up to sit flat against the side of it. We then want to take our gray concrete, we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five gray concrete blocks back, a polished blackstone button on both sides of that uh, second one there from the front, then we're going to place down two light gray stainless panes back, and then a polished blackstone wall to both sides as well. We're going to go ahead and go back from the polished blackstone wall, one, two, three, four gray concrete, and we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak sign on the side of the polished blackstone wall, as well as the first two gray concrete blocks, and the same thing is going to be done over here on this side as well. Um, so just like this. And then after that, we're going to place down two more light gray stainless panes, or sorry, one more light gray stainless paint going back, and then a polished blackstone wall after that glass pane. Going back from the polished blackstone wall, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 gray concrete blocks back, and same thing over here as well. So like so. And then on the side, we're going to go ahead and grab our signs, and we're going to place down a sign on the side of this wall, a second sign like this, and then we're going to place down dark oak trap doors. We have four so far, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Uh, should end right there. I think I messed up my count a little bit here, so let me go and just get a accurate count, and it's going to be yeah, it is going to be seventeen. So seventeen. Uh, of these uh, blocks back, and then we're gonna go ahead and place down a polished blackstone wall on these gray concrete blocks, and then we're just gonna place down three dark oak with signs along the two gray concrete blocks remaining in the wall. And we're gonna do the same thing over here on the other side. So just like this, all the way down, and again, it's gonna go one past that, and then we have our two dark oak with signs like that, and that's going to basically form that up uh, our torpedo blister so with that done we want to go and then take our gray concrete and we're going to go ahead and, and or first we're going to go and place down two glass panes going uh, from this wall here we're going to place down two gray concrete blocks behind those glass panes and same thing over here and then we want to go and go back one more gray concrete block then a polished blackstone wall to both sides and then we're going to go back two glass panes from the wall or rather it's actually going to be a stair so uh, these walls are actually going to be stairs here, and same thing right here, this wall is actually going to be a stair as well. So go ahead and swap those out real quick, and then we're just going to add dark oak wood signs here to the front of those stairs. Now once that's done, we're also going to place down dark oak wood signs on the side of this block here, and this stair, and same thing over here. Like that. Uh, and then again, we're going to take our glass panes and just go back two. In the middle space here, we're going to place down two great concrete blocks. And then one polished blackstone wall, like so. And that is going to basically kind of uh, form up our outline here for the build. We will now need to go ahead and take some stripped spruce wood. And we're going to go ahead and basically fill in a little bit of our deck that we need to. So we're going to place it on a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 of these stripped spruce wood blocks. And then to the sides here, we're just going to go ahead and place down a row that's going to be even with the end here. So just like that, and that will be part of the decking that we will need to actually have in place that we will be having exposed from the top down view. Um, you can also go ahead and take gray concrete and if you want to, you don't need to, but it is optional to fill in the rest of the build here with gray concrete just to fully um, close off the interior here of the ship. Uh, but again, you can leave this space open 
uh, forward of that spruce wood back there. Uh, but anyways, that's going to wrap up what we have here for layer three. Here again is a top-down view of what you should have. And with that, we'll be going ahead to move it into layer four. Layer four is going to be a little bit of a longer layer as we have a little bit more we're going to be doing, especially with that back uh, deck detailing. So um, just keep that in mind going forward. But with that, let's go ahead and dive into layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to start with, we're going to place down a gray concrete block here on top of this one, followed by a second one back. We then want to go ahead and place down a dark or polished black stone top slab to both sides of this gray concrete block. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a, a row of two of stripped spruce wood down the center here. So two like that. And then a polished black stone up sound stair to both sides. And then a second up sound stair coming off that. That one's going to be a corner stair. So you're going to have a design that looks like that there for the front. Now we're going to go need to grab ourselves some item frames here and also some uh, crossbows. We're going to place down an item frame on the side of this stair here, and then we're going to place down a crossbow in the item frame and have it facing downwards. That's going to be on the right side. The left side, however, we're going to go ahead and place down two item frames, one on the corner stair and one on the normal stair, and we're going to go ahead and place down crossbows in each of those item frames and again have those facing downwards. So you have two anchors on the left side and one anchor on the right side. We're going to go ahead and place down another strip spruce wood block in the center, followed by a polished blackstone stair to both sides. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down an additional one two and three and four of our stripped spruce wood down the center so you have a total of seven then we're going to place down one two three uh great uh great concrete and then one two three great concrete we're going to place down a polished blackstone button that's going to come off the first block to both sides and then we want to go ahead and then place down a row of two of gray stainless panes on each side we're going to go ahead and place down a stripped uh, spruce wood block like this to both sides. And then coming off that, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door. Then we want to place down a uh, another row of three of our stripped spruce wood. And we're going to go ahead and place down a polished black stone wall again to both sides. After that, we want to take our gray concrete and we're going to go ahead and go back from the wall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 gray concrete back and same thing over here once we have that done we're going to go ahead and then take our gray concrete and place down a row of three across the middle there to connect those two sides together and we're going to place down polished blackstone buttons all on the side there of those gray concrete blocks so like that and then after we have that all finished there uh, this middle section here can be filled in with uh, strip spruce wood or gray concrete um, this area here is not going to really be exposed to the outside but we can go ahead and just fill this in again uh, just to make things a little bit easier on us when we build the next layer. So again, just going to fill that in completely with our stripped spruce wood. And that's going to set us up there in the front. Now this back section here, we have a lot of detail going on. So let's kind of just go ahead and dive into the nitty gritty of it. To begin with, we're going to place down another brick fence post to both sides. In the center here, we're going to place down a gray concrete block and then a polished black stone wall to both sides of it. We're going to place down a polished black stone stair like this coming off that gray concrete block and then coming off the polished black stone walls we're going to place down two smooth cord stairs going back like that from those walls. In the center there we're going to go ahead and place down a redstone repeater between our cord stairs. We're going to spread the notches away from each other like so and coming off this cord stair here to the side we're going to place down a polished black stone upside down stair for the time being. We then also want to go ahead and place down a spruce uh, pressure plate to both sides and we're going to go ahead and then place down a white bed like this going back from those spruce pressure plates. Uh, we'll also go ahead and take some iron bars and we're going to place down an iron bar here and here. Or rather actually it would probably be better if we just use end rods for this now that I think about it. We're going to place down two end rods here and two end rods right here. So just like that for the time being. Then uh, we want to go ahead and take our gray concrete and we're going to place down two more gray concrete blocks down the center here. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some gray stainless panes and we're just going to place them to the sides here of those um, gray concrete blocks. For our first turret, we're going to place down a polished black stone upside down stair like that. And then we want to go ahead and place down a red concrete block like that and then a polished black stone stair like so. We're going to place down a polished black stone wall to both sides of the red concrete as well as a wither skeleton skull. That's going to come off these sides here of the upside down stair and the normal stair. So like that for your 
uh, first turret, and then we're gonna place down one and two end rods coming off the wither skeleton skulls and that stair like that for the um, for the gun. We also want to go ahead and take some spruce pressure plates, and we're just gonna place them on top of these gray concrete blocks like that, and on top of these ones right here. If you're on Java, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames. And we can also go ahead and grab some brown stained glass paint. So we can place down item frames underneath these end rods. Uh, just to kind of help keep the deck color a little bit more consistent. And we can place down brown stained glass panes in them. Uh, it's not perfect, but it does kind of help keep that deck color a little bit closer to what it should be. Rather than having those gray concrete um, areas. Um, after that though, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some daylight detectors. We're going to place down a row of three of daylight detectors. We're going to turn those to the night modes so that bluish gray color. And we just want to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of that sign to both sides for that rear catapult. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down another item frame um, for Java. If you're not on Java, then go ahead and disregard that for this part. But we're going to place down an item frame here and brown stained glass. For all versions, you're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate on top of it and open it toward the away from the ship. So that way there. Then we want to place down a... Um, what is this a stone cutter or a grindstone that's going to sit right here like this and then behind that we're going to place down a end rod and then going up from the end rod we're going to go ahead and just place down one and two iron bars like that um after that's all done though that is going to wrap up everything we have there for this layer just trying to make sure i'm not missing anything and everything appears to be good to go so that's the back of the ship all good to go and the front of it is set up for us to uh, expand upon in the next layer but this right here is what it should look like from the top down view with that all complete and we'll be going ahead and now moving on to our next layer which will be layer number five moving into our next layer we have layer number five for layer five to start with we're going to place down an end rod on top of this uh gray concrete block and just so we don't have to worry about a layer we're just going to place down two chains or sorry two iron or yeah two iron bars going up like so we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone repeater. We're going to place it here and separate the notches away from each other. Followed by a spruce pressure plate to both sides. On the left side of the build here, you're going to place down two item frames. On the right side here, you're going to place down one item frame and then a spruce pressure plate. So you're going to have that little bit of a difference there. Just make sure you translate that over. And then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves black beds. We're going to place down a black bed like this rotated so that the pillow is, or the pillow is facing away from the center. And same thing will be done over here on this side. And you're going to angle these like this so that it basically would look like the little gaps or the holes that the anchor chains would actually go down into and connect up to the anchors. Um, after that's done, we then want to go ahead and place down a flower pot that is going to sit here. And then directly behind that, we're going to place down a block and then one more block up. Delete that first block and we're going to place down an end rod underneath that block. And then we can delete that block like that and it should look like this here for the front. We're going to go ahead and skip one, two, and on your third space back from the end rod there, we're going to place down a polished black stone stair. To the sides of it, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. And we're going to go ahead and then place down two end rods coming off each of the wither skeleton skulls and the stair going forward for your gun barrels. And then we want to go ahead and place down a red concrete block, followed by a polished black stone wall to both sides, another polished black stone upside down stair and another wither skeleton skull on both sides of the stair so it's going to look like that there uh, we also want to go ahead and take our item frames and we're going to place down item frames again if applicable on java underneath the wither skeleton skull and the end rods there and again we can take some brown stained glass panes and actually put them in the item frames like that again to help kind of blend our deck color a little bit more consistently then once we get to this point here uh, we're going to place down a spruce uh, pressure plate here on top of this glass pane on both sides and we want to go ahead and then place down a another spruce pressure plate on top of these um, polished black stone walls and then one more back like that on both sides we're going to go ahead and then place down one and two gray concrete blocks here down the center then followed by two polished black stone walls to the sides there like that we're going to go ahead and then place down a stripped gray or sorry stripped spruce wood block here in the center and we then want to go ahead and place down a anvil to both sides here and a chain coming off it like so underneath that chain again for my java players we can place down an item frame and then a brown stained glass paint in the item frame then we're going to place down a row of three of gray concrete uh this is going to be followed with a dark gray uh, glass pane to each side after that we're going to place down another row of three of gray concrete and this is going to have a anvil 
coming off like that to both sides with a chain coming off the anvil like so. Our next uh, segment here is going to be a row of three of our stripped spruce wood, which will be followed with a polished blackstone wall to both sides. Then another row of three, and then an anvil to both sides with a chain coming off the anvil. Then we want to place down a gray concrete block to both sides, another row of three of stripped spruce wood down the center. We're going to go ahead and place down three more rows of three of our stripped spruce wood going down the center. And then we want to place down an anvil to both sides here, a chain coming off the anvils, then a polished blackstone wall coming off the anvils there, another anvil again to the sides, another chain coming off the anvils like that, and then a uh, spruce wood block in the center here, and then a gray concrete block to both sides like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a light gray, or just sorry, a normal gray stained glass pane. And then we're going to place down another stripped spruce wood block in the center, followed by again an anvil to both sides, and this will be followed with a chain coming off the anvil like so. Underneath the chain, we're going to place down an item frame if applicable, and we're going to go ahead and place down brown uh, stained glass panes in the item frames if you can. And then we want to place down one more stripped spruce wood block back, another polished blackstone wall to the sides here, and then we're going to place down a uh, spruce pressure plate to both sides as well. We're going to go and then place down a gray concrete block here, then a uh, another brick wall to both sides like that of that. Uh, we're going to go and also grab ourselves a flower pot and we're going to place down a flower pot on top of these narrow brick fence posts. Then we're going to place down a lever on top of these two stairs here. If you're on Java, you can also add an item frame underneath the lever like that to make those anti-aircraft gun positions. And we're also going to place down a another brick fence post on top of this stair here. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, black concrete block that's going to sit here on this block here. A polished blackstone stair going forward from it and an upside down stair going behind it. We're going to place down a polished blackstone wall on both sides of the black concrete. And then we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides of these two upside down stairs. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves end rods. We're going to place down one, two, going forward, one, two, one, two. And underneath this uh, end rod right here, we can place down an item frame, and you can place down a red stingless paint in the item frame if you're on Java, just to help keep that turret color a little bit more consistent. On the back here, we're going to go and then place down a uh, dark oak fence gate on top of this one, open it toward the back like so, and then we want to go ahead and grab a skeleton skull, and we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this uh, grindstone. So it's going to look like that there. And lastly, we're just going to go ahead and grab a chain, and we're going to place down a chain that's going to be right here above this space right right there. So pretty straightforward stuff. And that's going to wrap that up there. And just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. And everything really appears to be good to go for this layer. So I'm going to go ahead and call that good. And um, here is a top-down view of what it should look like uh, with that layer all complete. And yeah, with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number six. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to start with, we're going to place down a polished blackstone stair that's going to go on top of this gray concrete block like that. We're going to then again place down our wither skeleton skulls to both sides for the start of our last turret. And then we just want to place down our two end rods going forward from the stairs. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame again. And we're going to place down an item frame underneath this uh, end rod here again for my Java players. We're going to go ahead and place down a red concrete block back from that stair there. And then an upside down polished blackstone stair to the sides. We're going to place down polished blackstone. And then a wither skeleton skull like this to both sides um, of the turret like so. So that's going to do it for that. Um, after we have uh, that done there, we're going to place down a gray concrete block here. Followed by one and two more. So you have a total of three there. To the sides, we're going to place down a uh, spruce pressure plate. And then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some deep, polished deep slate uh, slabs. We're going to place down a polished deep slate slab on this gray concrete block to both sides. And then a chain coming off it to the side here. Underneath that, if you're on Java, we'll place down an item frame. And again, we're going to use our brown uh, stained glass to kind of cover that up and blend it in with our deck a little bit. We're going to place down another uh, polished deep slate slab here. And we're going to go ahead and place down a chain coming off that as well. And same thing will be done over here on this side. Behind that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a polished blackstone wall on both sides of that gray concrete. When you get to this section here, uh, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate in the center that's going to be opened up toward the back of the ship. 
and then we're going to place down a polished black stone up downstairs to both sides of that fence gate. On top of this anvil here, we're going to place down an item frame, and then we're going to place down brown stained glass panes in the item frames like so. We're going to go then place down another gray concrete block, followed by a polished black stone wall, and we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, polished uh, deep slate slab here to both sides, and then a chain coming off of it like that. We also want to go ahead and place down a redstone repeater and separate the notches like that from each other right behind those slabs like that. And then we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at about a 45 degree angle there in the corners. And then we're going to place down a spruce wood pressure plate on top of the anvil. And actually we'll do the same thing here. We're going to delete that. Um, that and we're going to go ahead and place down the spruce wood um, instead. So just go ahead and make that quick change there. Uh, but once we get to this section here, uh, we have our lifeboats. So for these, we're going to go ahead and take our smooth quartz. We're going to place down one and two, and then a smooth quartz stair like that going back. We're going to go ahead and then take our white beds. We're going to place down a white bed here to both sides. And we also want to place down a white bed on top of this polished black stone wall, like so. And then a spruce pressure plate on top of these stone blocks. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a polished deep slate slab on top of this wall here. Again, a chain coming off like that for your secondary gun batteries. So just like that to the sides. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to come back here and we're going to go ahead and begin with by placing down an item frame again for my Java players. Brown stained glass uh, pane in that item frame. We're going to go ahead and then place down another brick fence post going up from both sides. And in the middle space there, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a singular dark oak wood fence gate that we're going to open up toward the front. We're also going to place down a fence post here on top of this one. And then a... Um, row of daylight detectors that's going to be offset from the turret so it's going to be over here on this like the turret's left side um, so on the right side of the ship here we're going to place down three daylight detectors turn these to the night mode and then we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on the end here and another wither skeleton skull here so just keep them keep in mind it's going to be on the left side of the turret only it's a seaplane launcher and then on top of the turret itself we're going to just place down two black carpets uh, again these markings on the tops of the turrets are actually for the um, Arizona basically to be distinguished um, in her battle group. Typically they operate in like battle groups of three and or basically kind of in segments of three and the colors on the top of the turrets kind of helped organize the ships and was also a way for pilots to tell which ship they were going to. So um, just kind of uh, what they kind of did uh, to help signify what ship was which and help with formations and stuff like that. So Arizona had two red turrets, one black turret and a another red turret. Uh, this middle turret here, where well, the red usually was like the group of three it belonged to, and the different colors, I believe it was black, red, and blue, or it might have been black, yellow, blue, something like that, would signify what uh, command the ship was. So black was the element leader, basically. Um, so just a little bit of fun facts for you there. Um, anyways, though, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak with fence gate here on top of this uh, fence gate, open this up toward the front of the ship. We're going to go ahead and then grab a polished black stone slab which might be easier just to grab from here uh yeah polished blackstone brick slab it's going to be a top slab here uh with a dark oak wood sign that's going to be to both sides of it and then we want to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off it going forward and that's going to be your rear uh deck crane um usually for the seaplanes um so that right there is going to wrap what we have up there and uh, one of the last things here is going to be more of a java oriented thing but i did forget to add these we're going to place down two blocks on top of these beds here and then we want to place down levers, like this. We're going to go ahead and then uh, type in the command for my Java players. Slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So this command here, press and enter, will get you this glowing stick. You can left click these um, levers until you get selected face. Uh, should say wall, we'll right click these, set these to floor. And we'll do the same thing on both sides. And then we can delete those blocks and you actually get this kind of uh, cool design here where it's kind of uh, the um, you know basically system uh, pulley system to lower and deploy lifeboats so kind of a cool little thing we have going on there um, anyways though that is going to conclude everything we have here for this layer just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything appears to be good to go here's what it looks like from the top down view of layer 6 all complete and with that we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer 
layer number seven. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number seven. For layer seven to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna place down two red carpets on top of these blocks here. And behind that, we're gonna place down a piston. If you are not on Java, I'd recommend instead of the piston, actually place down a furnace. Uh, so, or uh, one of those um, smokers actually is the word I was looking for. Um, so a smoker would work here as well. Um, but if you are on Java, we're going to place down a piston here and we're going to go and place down an item frame forward. Now, obviously on other versions other than Java, you cannot place down an item frame and carpet in the same block space. So that right here is what this smoker is going to be a good substitute for. However, um, in that smoker, we're going to go ahead and just place down a, or on this uh, item frame, we're going to place down a black concrete block and then an item frame to both sides here of the piston as well, or whatever block you have placed and then black concrete and like that. So that's basically all we're going to do there for that. Uh, we will be going ahead and uh, touching that a little bit later, but we're going to leave that alone for right now. And also on the sides here of that block, we're going to place down dark and good signs just to kind of help blend the iron frame in a little bit more with the superstructure. Behind that, we're going to place down one and two gray concrete blocks. We want to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull coming off both sides of this uh, first gray concrete block. And then we're going to place down a polished black stone up down stair on both sides on top of those walls. We then want to place down another brick wall or fence post that's going to go up here on top of these stairs and then another fence gate that's going to be on top of this one again opened up toward the back. We're going to place down another gray concrete block here followed by a polished black stone wall. We'll place down a dark oak trap door like this to both sides in item frame and in the item frame we're going to be going ahead and placing down a snowball for your searchlights or spotlights. After that, we're just going to place down a white bed here on top of this smooth quartz for uh, the boats stacked up here in the midship. Then on the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down another dark oak fence gate on top of this one, open up toward the front, another brick fence post to both sides, and then we're going to place down a polished blackstone upside down stair here uh, with a wither skeleton skull coming off of that stair like that. So it's going to create that design uh, right there. And uh, with that all done, that's going to complete everything we have for layer number um, seven. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number eight. Moving on to layer number eight, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and placing down a polished blackstone stair on top of this block here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves item frames and black beds. We're going to place down item frames here on the sides of the stair. And in those item frames, we're going to place down black beds. And then we're going to place down a dark liquid sign on this forward side. If you are not on Java, you will not be able to place down the item frames on the side of the stair because we're going to be going ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull on top of this one here from the uh, from the previous layer. So you, on Java, you can have the item frames. If you're not on Java, you cannot. Then we're going to place down a gray concrete block, which is going to be followed with a gray stained glass pane to both sides. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, fence gate that's going to be in the center here. So... We're going to place it like this and we're going to open it up toward the front and then we're going to place down an upside down polished black stone stair like that to both sides. Once we have uh, that done, we're going to place down another great concrete block here, another polished black stone wall uh, for our funnel. And then going ahead and going to this section, uh, we're going to start off by placing down a grindstone that's going to sit on top of these narrow brick fence posts like that. We're going to place down a polished black stone upside down stair between them. And then an upside down stair on the back of them. On top of this uh, wither skeleton skull in the back, we're going to place down a flower pot. And then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some polished blackstone slabs. And we're going to go ahead and go forward from the grindstones with a slab. And then a top slab going forward. Like that. And then we're going to go ahead and skip a space. And we're going to place down a chain. Like this. Again, for the uh, kind of mid-ship cranes. So, just like that. And once we have uh, that all complete there, that is going to wrap up everything we have for uh, this layer. The one quick thing here, if you're on Java, we can go to this piston. We can left click this till we get selected extended. Should say false. We'll right click that, set that to true. And that will finish off that piston on the front there. Um, but anyways, that right there is going to conclude everything we have for uh, this layer. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to uh, our last final layers. Moving into our next layer, we have layers 9 through 15. For layers 9 through 15 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak trap door on top of the stair. And then on top of the sign here on the front, we're going to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull, uh, just like that. And, or actually, rather, we're going to actually have it come off the slab, or the uh, trap door, so you're going to place it like that. Then we want to go ahead and place down a end rod that's going to come to both sides of the uh, wither skeleton skull, and then a dark oak sign uh, to both sides of the trap door. 
After we have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished black stone wall. And then a wither skeleton skull to both sides of the wall on top of those glass panes. Uh, after we have that done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a piston that's going to sit here on these two blocks. You can go ahead and substitute the piston for gray concrete or just really um, kind of any full block instead. We're going to place down a dark liquid sign on this forward side of it. And then behind it, we want to go ahead and place down a um, tripwire hook. So a tripwire hook here on the sides facing toward the back. For the funnel here, we're going to go ahead and continue this with a nether brick slab and then a wither skeleton skull like that on top of that uh, rear wall. So it's going to look like that there. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and continue to build up on this in the middle space here. We're going to go ahead and place down another fence gate, uh, which will come off this wall here and opened up toward it. We're going to go ahead and then place down a nether brick uh, fence post that's going to sit here. And then we're going to take our dark liquid signs and we're going to go ahead and place it around the sides here. So we have this fence post, or these three sides here for that fence post. And then going forward from it, uh, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull and then one out to the sides like that. On the very top here, uh, we have our smooth quartz we're going to be using as well as our um, direct walls. We're going to place down a smooth quartz full block on top of that fence post and a direct wall to both sides. We're going to place down item frames wrapped around the sides here of those um, direct walls except for the very back one there. And we're gonna go ahead and then grab ourselves some black beds. And we're gonna place down black beds in the item frames with the pillow facing upwards. So like that. Uh, on this uh, one on the block here, if you're on Java, we're gonna go ahead and place down a birchwood sign on it. So like this. And then on the back here, we're also gonna place a birchwood sign here and come off this block. Then um, for my Java players, we can place down an end rod. Right here, if you're not in Java, you will have to delete these item frames on the back of these walls. Um, but we're going to have end rods right there in those spots. And then we're going to go ahead and continue to go out an angle here with our end rods. So just kind of bringing out to the angle there, like that, to the sides. Now from those uh, blocks there, we're going to go ahead and grab some barrier blocks. We're going to go ahead and go, to, and go to this uh, end rod here. We're going to drop down two barrier blocks and then one right here underneath that tripwire hook. And same thing will be done right here. We're gonna go ahead and then grab our stone buttons and we're gonna place down uh, two stone buttons. So one, two, and we're gonna drop down, place down another button and then uh, one, two around this one. Same thing's gonna be done over here. So just like that. And that's gonna basically form your rigging there uh, from this forward mass down to the super, or to the superstructure. Um, so that's it for that right there. Then to go ahead and continue on with the mask to go ahead and get this finished off, we need some cobwebs, some skeleton skulls, and white carpet. We're going to place down a cobweb here, uh, white carpet on top of it, a skeleton skull to both sides on top of these walls, and then a birchwood sign on the sides here of that cobweb. So that's what it's going to basically look like right there. Um, with that all done, we're going to go ahead and then grab our barrier blocks, and we're going to go ahead and set up our rigging that's going to go ahead and burn, go from those end rods to the front bow. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and place down uh, a barrier block coming off this um, end rod there. And these barrier blocks can also be used for, like, you can also use structure blocks or void blocks. Basically, you just want an invisible block that you can attach buttons to later. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and continue to drop down here uh, for barrier blocks. We're gonna go ahead and then do a row of three. So again, we're gonna drop down, do a row of three. Then we wanna drop down again and another row of three. And then we're going to go ahead and then shift it over to the side. So we're going to go ahead and do another row of three, but we're going to drop down and go toward the middle. So for this, we're going to drop down, go to the middle, one, two, three. And then over here, same thing, drop down, over, one, two, three. Um, after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then drop down from those. Again, another segment of three. And then lastly, we're just going to place down two barrier blocks coming off this middle. Um, iron bar there. And then once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab our buttons and we're just going to place down buttons here on the side of these barrier blocks. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one. So it's going to be like that. Really straightforward, really simple. And it's just going to be on the sides of those barrier blocks like that. And that's going to create your cabling for the front. So it connects up there. Now for the back here, uh, to go ahead and continue upon this, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished blackstone slab that's going to go up from these at an angle. And we then want to go ahead and grab end rods. We're going to place down one end rod going forward. And then we're going to place down an end rod on top of the grindstones. And then 
two end rods sideways connecting the end rod to this slab there for those cranes. We then want to go ahead and place down another brick uh, fence post on top of here. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate right here that's going to be opened up toward this uh, fence post. We can then take our item frames. And we're going to place down item frames on the side of the fence gate there if you're on Java. And then definitely for all versions on the side of that uh, that, fence, that fence post there. And we're going to go ahead and then place down snowballs in it for, again, some spotlights there. Then we're going to place down an uh, end rod that sticks off that wall going back. A narrow brick fence post up again. And then a dark oak wood sign on the side here of this fence post. After that, we're going to place down a smooth quartz full block going up. And on the smooth quartz full block, we're going to place down a direct wall to both sides as well as an end rod coming off those walls. Like we did for the front, we're going to go ahead and grab our item frames. And we're going to place down item frames on these two walls here with a black bed in those item frames. And then on the front side here, again, three item frames, black beds in those item frames. And actually, my bad, it's not going to be on the middle one. Uh, you're just going to be placing them on the walls. On the block itself, we're going to place down a, an iron bar to both sides like that. On the very top here, we're going to do the same technique that we used in the front. Uh, we're going to place down a cobweb. Um, this one, though, instead of having that that um, carpet, we're actually going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door. And we're going to go ahead and wrap the trap door in um, signs. So we're going to go ahead and just surround the trap door with signs like that, um, except for the back there. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and then also place down a skeleton skull that's going to sit on top of these two walls. And we're also going to go ahead and take our birchwood signs and we're going to place them on these sides here of the cobweb. Then we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off this trap door. And we're going to go ahead and then go up with two iron bars like so to go ahead and finish it off. Now after that's all done for our cabling, we're going to go ahead and then grab our barrier blocks. And we're just going to place down a straight row of barrier blocks back from that end rod to this one back here. And same thing will be done over here. So it's going to go straight back like so. And we're going to go ahead and run our buttons along the side there of those barrier blocks. And again, same thing here on both sides. So it will look like that. After that is all done, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our barrier blocks. And we're going to go ahead and do a row diagonal going down. We're going to place down one barrier block like this. Drop down. We're going to go ahead and then do two. 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 And then we're going to go ahead and then do one right here in this space. And we're going to place down buns on both sides of this one, then buns on both sides of this one, and then one on top. Both sides here on top, both sides on top, so just kind of this alternating pattern. So again, both sides, top, and this last one here, both sides, like that. And once you have that done, that's it for that rigging. And the last thing we're going to do here is just take our debug stick, and we're going to go to this piston right here. We're going to right-click it like that and get rid of that wood uh, portion of it like so and that right there is going to wrap up uh, my design here for the my new design for the USS Arizona Pennsylvania class battleship hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use if you do up using this build I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it this has been thing from a side of the build tweak to my channel or this video if this does appear your social media sites as long as you guys are giving me proper credit for it, your freeze of her projects you guys are working on with that though thank you again so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been Garrett 2x4 and I'll see you guys next time.